One of the things that we tend to neglect in our kitchen is our small appliances. Our microwaves, our toasters, our blenders and mixers, and they just need to be deeply cleaned once in a while. And if we do deeply clean them, they won't need to be cleaned for a long time if we simply wipe them off after each use, which only takes a few seconds. So I think we can do this. All right, I've got a few little tools that I like to have in my arsenal when I'm cleaning these little tiny appliances. I like to have toothpicks and Q-tips and little um, dental floss things that can go in little holes and crevices. I have little plastic scrapers for hard cake down things. Steel wool or a non-abrasive scratch pad. I also like to make my degreasing solution with a little dish soap and some water using an old rag. It's time to get started. We're going to use our homemade cleaner, which is half water, half vinegar, a little Castile soap, and a little essential oils. And we're gonna spritz the entire blender with this solution. Now, we're going to dip our scrubby pad in there and start scrubbing all the yucky stuff off. Obviously, we cannot get into all of the tiniest cracks with our scrubby pads or our rags. So we can use our little toothpick at this point and get real close into all these little tight spots. Just like that, just kind of scrub away and take your Q-tip and you can blot it away. See, it's like perfectly clean when you do it like that. All right, and then you can wipe it over with your handy dandy washcloth. Using this little dental floss tool, I'm going to go into the little holes, just kind of rub around in the little holes and get those all cleaned out nice. After you've worked all the dirt out of all the little cracks and crevices, just wipe it all down with a dry dish towel and shine it all up. Looks like brand new. When you're ready to clean your toaster, have a garbage can available because there's this little door on the bottom of every toaster that you can open up and release all the crumbs that are built up inside of the toaster and then you won't have it all over your countertop when you're cleaning it. Give your toaster a little shake, get all the rest of the crumbs and turn it upside down and shake, shake, shake. When you flip the toaster upside down, you can see all the built up grime inside of here. Just take your little plastic scraper and scrape all the loose debris away. Take your non-abrasive scouring pad or your steel wool and get it a little damp and just start working off the, the grime on the top. Now just spritz it with your cleaner a little bit on the whole outside and take your dish towel and just wipe it all down till it shines. We use our mixer a lot, so there's a lot of grime that builds up and food splatters on it, so I wanna get this deeply clean. That's gonna make me feel really good. So I'm gonna remove the bowl here, spritz the entire outside of the machine, including the cord, off. And I'll start using the uh, non-abrasive scouring pad and running over all the different areas with that. I'm going to lift this up to get the grime that's underneath here that splatters up. This is fun. Use a little Q-tip and get into all these little, little crevices like that. It just comes right off. If you spray it real nice first. See how clean you can get it? Last step is just misting it down with the cleaner and with your dish towel just shining it all bright again. Go down the cord 
because sometimes food spills on the cord. And then you have yourself a very new looking appliance again. Voila! When we moved to this house, we did not clean the microwave. I left it dirty just for you so you could see how dirty it was and how clean we can actually get it. So I'm excited to clean my microwave today. We're going to start with a glass microwavable bowl, two cups of water, a half a cup of vinegar. I do not like the smell of vinegar. I know some of you do not either. Just add a few drops of essential oil to give it a fresher smell. I'm using lemon oil because I want to have it be a little bit of a degreasing solution as well. Lemon oil is great for degreasing. So now we're just going to put this into the microwave. We're going to microwave this bowl of vinegar water for three minutes. Leave your microwave door closed for five additional minutes so that the evaporated water can permeate all the walls and loosen all the dirt, oil, and grime that's in your microwave. All right, it's time. Make sure to test your bowl. Make sure it's not too hot to touch. And remove it from the microwave. Taking a non-abrasive scouring pad, just simply wipe off the grime. It comes off real easy. Microwaves always have a removable tray. So just remove it, bring it to the kitchen sink, and wash it off with some soapy water. Lastly, we need to spritz it all down with our natural cleaner over the control panel and the door and everything. And then just wipe it down with a dry dish towel until it shines. Now just spray the outside and wipe it all down. Wow, this is great. All my appliances are so clean. I'm so excited to cook again. Now go clean yours. <laughs>